After over a year of waiting, I finally got my first ride on Max Force. The lines were always too long or it was broken down. But on opening day 2021, I got my first ride. And today, I'll be sharing my thoughts. But after riding it, is it the best ride in the park? Let's get right to it. The park had a few major coasters, but nothing too stand out. You had a B&M Hyper, with probably the most insane drop of any B&M of all time. An RMC Woody, a few hundred feet away, with crazy pacing and towering inversions. And a B&M Wing Coaster, with graceful inversions and incredible near misses that don't disappoint. Yeah, all of these roller coasters are great. They all get long lines at any time in the day. But could there finally be something just as good, if not better, to take away these long lines? Will there finally be something that stands out as the best in the park? That's when the park got Max Force, a 175 foot tall SNS air launch roller coaster. And the park wasn't messing around with this addition. Getting into the park was a bit of a struggle. With the parking lot being packed and the front entrance being full, I managed to get in. Because of this, I thought the lines were going to be long. But when I finally walked over to Max Horse to get in my first ride, I took a look at the line. The line was only an hour long. Before, it was always three hours and I was stupid not to ride it. I finally got on a train and took the very back row. The first thing I noticed was how comfortable the seats were. And to add on top of that, the restraints were very comfortable too. They leave you open and exposed, giving you breathing room without feeling restricted by a bulky lap bar. I mean, these restraints were perfect for the ride. I couldn't think of a better option. And I'll admit it, when I pulled down that lap bar, I was a little nervous for that launch. We pulled out of the station and sat on the launch track. The anticipation made it feel like forever. But then, when I least expected, the train launched. You get shot down that launch track. You go under a bridge, and it provides a great near miss. This was for sure one of the most powerful elements in the park. But once it was done, all of my worry went away, and it was the best feeling ever. Next up, though, was an airtime hill into the dog's tongue inversion. I didn't get any airtime, but once I ride it in the front, that may change. You really rock it up the dog song. Once you reach the top, you get an amazing view of the park. You feel so high up. I mean, every other ride looks so small, and time seems to go by slower. But the view doesn't last forever, because you return back to the ground. This second part of the dog song offered great hang time, especially with the lap bars. This element was cool. I was looking straight down at the ground the whole time on this inversion. You do seem to pull a decent amount of positives on this inversion, especially as you bottom out into the next element. But then, you head into a bear world. You take this inversion so fast. It goes by so quickly, but man, was it one of the greatest elements on the ride. You get a great near miss with the new water slide coming to Hurricane Harbor this year. It reminds me a lot of the Heartline Raw on Spongebob Rock Bottom Plunge at Nickelodeon Universe, except Max Horse seems more low to the ground and whips through the inversion more. From watching the ride in the queue, the back seems to whip through it more, but the front could be better. Next up was the finale. I honestly forgot about this element because my mind was still trying to process the last element but it offered pretty good hang time, just like the dog song inversion. This element looks really cool from the parking lot. 
It's right by the entrance, and it's the first thing that you see. I thought it was a pretty cool omen. It kind of acts like a dye blue. Also, the brakes on the inversion didn't seem to bother me. It didn't really affect any of the forces you could have had. Yeah, it might have offered some great positives, but the ride was already stellar, so it didn't annoy me too much. You go into the brakes with a lot to process. I didn't even know what to think on that final break. It's probably one of the best paced roller coasters I've ever ridden. Most people may complain that the ride is in need of an airtime moment, but for a park already stacked with some great airtime moments, I didn't mind. I mean, you already have Raging Bull's Drop, the Light Sustained Ejector Hill, and many others. It doesn't have the strongest theme out there, but I like the concept of it. The themes are really the only theme, and I find them cool. The trains are themed to Formula 1 race cars. This fits the ride well. That launch is like the acceleration of a race car or jet, by far the best train in the park. But there are some other trains in the park that I do like too. Overall, I thought the ride was great. The ride contains wacky and unique elements, but it's known for its launch and inversion. A lot of people recommend the front row. As a person that generally loves the back, I took the back car. Usually, I'm a guy that prefers the strongest forces available. When I hear Raging Bull, I think of the back just for that insane drop. And when I hear Goliath, I think back just for about every element. And Max Force, well, I expected the same. Most people after I got off told me I should have rode front. But next time I visit the park, I'm definitely getting a ride in that front row. But still, I really did enjoy that back car. I couldn't help but to smile and laugh the entire ride. Compared to the other rides in the park, I think it's one of the best. I still think Raging Bull is a little bit better. And same thing for Goliath. But that doesn't mean I don't think the ride is bad. In fact, I loved it. I'll definitely be giving it some more re-rides this year. And hopefully my opinions will change. But don't forget to subscribe because I'll be telling you where it ranks compared to all of the other roller coasters I've ridden. And for sticking until the end, here is a montage of Six Flags Great America's roller coasters.